The prayer according to Psalms verse 91 is a prayer of security on those who trust in the Lord. It's important to make this prayer every day, in the morning, during the day, and at night when you retire to bed. You can make this prayer for your family, for yourself, or for your friends. You should know anybody that needs this prayer. Just share with them. And the Lord is going to bless you. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. With great confidence and on whom I rely. For he who saves you from the trap of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence, he will cover you and completely protect you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a wall. You will not be afraid of the terror of night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction, the sudden death that lays waste at all. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. But danger will not come near you. You will only be a spectator as you look on with your eyes and witness the divine repayment of the wicked as you watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. Because you have met the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil will befall you nor will any plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels in regard to you to protect and defend and guard you in all your ways of obedience and service. They will lift you up in their hands so that you do not even strike your foot against a stone. He will tread upon the lion and the cobra the young lion and the serpent, you will trample underfoot. Because he set his love on me, therefore I will save him. I will set him securely on high because he knows my name. He confidently trusts and relies on me, knowing I will never abandon him. No, never. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With a long life, I will satisfy him and I will let him see my salvation. Reading once again from the tree of life version. He who dwells in the shelter of Elion will abide in the shadow of Shaddai. I will say of Adonai, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For He will rescue you from the hunter's trap and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is body, armor and shield. You will not fear the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that stalks in darkness, not the scourge that lays waste at all. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You only look on with your eyes and see the wicked paid back. For you have made Elion your dwelling, even Adonai, who is my refuge. 
So no evil will befall you, nor any plague come near your tent. For he will give his angels charge over you to guard you in all your ways. Upon their hands they will lift you up, lest you strike your foot against your stone. And you will tread upon the lion and the cobra, trample the young lion and the serpent. Because he has devoted his love to me, I will deliver him. I will set him securely on high, because he knows my name. When he calls on me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, rescue him, and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. The prayer according to Psalms 103.